Hello, everyone, and welcome back to New Pantheon Academia. I'm your host, Stephen James Pope, your professional hobbit. Let's go ahead and meet our players, starting with the, I've been informed, I've been misusing the word, you know, menace, and I apologize for that. So instead, have the legit monster, Eric Reichert. Thank you. I'm not a menace to society. I'm a drain on society. Hi, everyone. I am Eric, and I'm playing Lennox Thatcher, also known as Lenny, uh, who is a big dumb jock who likes to party, but has too much responsibility. No issues to work out. No. Next up, one of the smartest beans I know, Aki. I think you have me confused with a different Aki, but hi, everybody. I am Aki, and I am playing Emancipation Brown, otherwise known as Manny, and I am your space cadet uh, in search of knowledge and truth and justice for all. It's like Batman, if Batman got distracted easily. And is actually, you know, nice. Yeah, there's no such thing as ethical billionaires. I said it. Next up, half of our green squad, Kelly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, look, we sent out the email to everybody. Uh, it was deeply disappointing that only Mika and I wore the green. I mean, I have a green screen. I can't. It feels, I, I mean, make it work. I, would have to I don't know. Flip it my green screen over to blue. Do you want that? Because <laughs> I'm not going to do it. <laughs> No, not blue screen. Hi, Kelly Nugent. Um, I am going to be playing Ar Iris Snow, as I have been, uh, you know, paranoid, um, afraid of everything, except for her friends, like 60%. So really excited to keep that, that going. Let's see what she gets into with them. Nice. And last but certainly not least, the other half of our green squad, Mika. Hi, I'm Mika. I'm a little upset that Eric responded to our green email and was just like, green is the worst color. Why would you guys wear it? Um, I'm playing Dolly. I Wingo. stand by that. I stand by what I said in this email no. that definitely happened. And then he he sent like videos of him saying yeah. that too. it was really yeah. mean. Yeah, no, like we are going to He made to a totally Snapchat account specifically yeah, just to like that. reach out. It yeah. was very weird. Mm -hmm. Hashtag uh, cancel Eric party coming soon. <laughs> I'm playing Dahlia Wingrove, our lovable theater uh, student who doesn't know how to say no, or really she just thinks life is improv and she's always yes anding. Um, and <laughs> I'm very excited to get into the third episode. I feel like going back to our previous point, we could only mostly cancel Eric. Yeah. Oh, oh. I think you have I to have like a platform to be canceled though. <laughs> 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 that's a, a mood if i ever heard one ain't it just uh before we get into our game a few quick announcements first up we want to send a special thanks to our sponsor hero forge uh they make their show they make our shows here on saving throw possible with viewers like you uh at hero forge you can create custom tabletop miniatures in 3d now in color it's really neat i've done it a couple times now they make wonderful gifts uh, also, a, another quick announcement, we will be doing a PDF giveaway throughout this episode, at some point during this episode, so keep your ears open and you will be getting a PDF, one lucky person will be getting a PDF copy of Overarms, so pretty nice. And uh, real quick, real talk for a second, so put on the serious music, I'm going to turn my chair around and sit like uh, Captain America, except not. Oh my gosh, this is a little youth pastory, what's happening? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's the cool English teacher in a jean jacket. Uh, yeah, you wear sandals to school. Okay, one, it's a <laughs> denim jacket, how dare you, and two, I might have done that, I'm not apologizing. Anyway, um, we just want to thank everyone who has been giving tips and subscribing throughout uh, New Pantheon's uh, new campaign. It's it's a new show. It's a new start. And your tips let everyone at Saving Throw know that you want the show to be around. And it also goes to paying our cast. So it's really important and it's really appreciated. So thank you to our audience for that. And don't forget, we will, for 500 gold, you can get a toast or for 15 bucks, you can get a toast. So help the show, get a shout out. And you can also unlock our story tiers, which will be, 
Well, good for me at least. I find them funny. Them, meh. And with that out of the way, we are officially done with ho housekeeping. I don't need to be a youth pastor and Kelly make fun of my flip flops. <laughs> How dare you? They're you know who else was pretty lit? <laughs> Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Jewish, okay? I've never even had a youth pastor. I don't get it. Okay, okay, I, here, we'll revise. You know what else is really lit? The menorah. And yeah. Starts from yeah. the guitar. <laughs> you can't see it behind my ocean of purple, but you have one back here. <laughs> Last week on New Pantheon, uh, during the field day at North Point Academy, the uh, Phantom Queen attacked and we found out a power of hers. She had unlocked the hearts of students and released uh, release her powerful crow monsters from them. And she does this by draining the power of God so she turned into keys. Now, they were able to defeat the crow and save the student, but it still beat up the uh, cafeteria some, and we're no closer to figuring out what she wants or where she's hiding. And for the first time in this campaign, we find ourselves in a classroom. I know. It all of us? Like all of you. All four of you are currently sitting in history class, American history to be precise, because this is still America. Even if it is an international private school, they feel obligated to have the American history. And sitting on her desk, legs uh, crossed in a state of tranquility, explaining how uh, the Native Americans were not friendly, invited over for dinner, but actually horribly mistreated and continue to be to this day. To this day. Uh, Miss Rose lectures on. Uh, where are the four of you in class? Front and center. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Uh, they make the mistake of giving Manny a desk by the window all the time. Uh, so Manny is definitely sort of staring distractedly out the window at whatever happens to be going on out there, not paying attention at all. <laughs> Imagine uh, Lenny's as much in the center of the room as possible. Back, back of the room. And then remember how when like you used to take tests and the teachers would be like, you should put your textbooks like up so that way people can't see what you're doing. This is all the time. And it's all around. So it's like books and binders. You just have like a little peek hole so you can actually see through. <laughs> yeah, I, I slide my paper to turn into the teacher through that. All right. As the teacher continues on, suddenly there's a loud thump uh, next to you, Lenny. Um, one, up, one of your classmates, uh, da -da 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 uh, Leroy Baker has fallen asleep and has immediately set up red in the face as everyone has turned and giggled because, well, someone fell asleep in class. That's funny. <clears throat> Jeez. <sighs> um, how about everyone give me an intelligence roll real fast? Man. Certainly. Already. Already doing it to us, Stephen. Asking you to roll dice on a role playing game? How could you? I got a seven. Good nerve. Seven. All right. Three. Um, Manny, there's a really it's a three out of four. I, <laughs> I know, but we were looking for a five. So I'm going to say with three emancipation, there is a soap opera going on right now between this one red squirrel and this gray squirrel. And they're like, you're pretty sure they're married. You're pretty sure the gray squirrel has been reunited with her long lost dead husband who you thought went died in the war, but now he's back. And the red squirrel, uh, you know, he has children from previous marriage and they don't get along. And it's, it's, there's a lot, there's a lot going on outside. I got a one. Oh no. <laughs> uh, okay, Lenny, who are you texting? Uh, he's in a group. Uh, text he has to uh, there 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 is a problem with the floor uh, there's uh, some people have been uh, putting up uh, like uh, they want to do it in 
inflatable Christmas display, but uh, it's against regulations to have it in the hallway. So it's like a whole thing. I have 10. Okay. Um, and Dahlia got a seven, right? Yes. So Iris, from your little hidey hole and Dahlia, even though they're behind you, uh, the two of you have noticed a lot of your classmates have just been sort of zombie zombified lately. Not like literally, more like everyone needs a Red Bull and a nap. It's like Thanksgiving, thank, post-Thanksgiving comas all the time up in here. It's almost like you know, the natural Arcadian rhythm of children is not to be woken up at six <laughs> in the morning and immediately start learning. Um, Who knew? I want to. I want to write like a letter, but 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 my friends look normal, right? Yeah, you all look perfectly fine. I want to write a letter to Dahlia, like a little note, um, that says, but it's coded because I don't want anybody to to know. So it's like the lyrics to um like a hoobastank song but then like if you ever the like i circle like <laughs> only certain words and it's like do you notice the reason for people being so s tired and then <laughs> i want to roll it up and like try and like shoot it through a straw at where dahlia is sitting give me a dexterity roll let's see if you can pull this off okay uh, I have a question. Did Orpheus come to class with me in my backpack? Oh, he's in your desk. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Well, actually, no, you're in high school. You don't really have desk anymore. He's uh, he's in your backpack. Okay. <gasps> oh, two. <laughs> All of that work. <laughs> <laughs> Finding the really right Hoobastank song. I really <laughs> hope there's a Hoobastank song that has all of those words in it. <laughs> Well, I know reason, so I was like, well, maybe, and like the reason is you, so. Uh, I'm okay. sorry, I'm not perfect. Um, <laughs> so you shoot it and it goes wide, it goes very wide and it hits Kelly in the back of the head. <gasps> she turns oh. around and glares daggers at you and then. <sighs> I'm gonna like, move one a paper over my little mail slot um yeah so you now have an arch nemesis in kelly <laughs> the uh, meanest girl in school after mika <laughs> and and aki and aki yeah <laughs> they're not a girl not a girl uh, exactly uh, aki. aki's just the meanest person in general yes. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to nudge my backpack with my foot and like unzip it a little bit. Orpheus. Hey, Orpheus. What? I'm reading lines. Didn't you, didn't you say you were the, wait, you're reading lines? Well, oh my yeah. gosh, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> didn't you say that you were the god of sleep? Maybe I'm remembering this wrong. No, that, that was my thing. I, are you sure? You don't have your powers anymore. Everyone's uh, been real sleepy since you got here. He gently claps his buddy paws together. Did uh, did anything happen? No, nothing happened. No. Oh, yeah, I do not have my powers. Well, then why is everyone tired? I don't know. Huh. Maybe this requires more minds than you and I, my friend. Very likely. Also, uh, can you ask Emancipation about the squirrel drama? I'm very curious about that. They told me about that last week and I've just been dying to know what happens next. The what? Oh, oh my gosh, yeah, hold on. Um, I'm going to pretend I need to look out of the window. <laughs> <laughs> Good cover. <I'm> like... <laughs> I like to like put all my papers that I was working on in my history book and do a really big show of like, oh, really need some sunlight today and go sit over by the window by man or yeah, by Manny. Psst, hey, Manny. Oh, are you sleepy too? No, 
No, it's oh. fine. I'm just, uh, there's a red squirrel and a gray squirrel out there <gasps> having some kind of argument. And I think, I think perhaps the gray squirrel's long lost lover has returned or something like that. And of course, there's all the drama with the red squirrel's children who are completely estranged from the family because the, the gray squirrel doesn't like them and they don't like this gray squirrel. It's complicated. It doesn't got, appear like things are getting any better. You got all of that without any dialogue? Oh my gosh. Acting really is all about the body. Mm. Uh, or they're just, you know, angry because they keep stealing each other's acorns. I don't know. Are they I, prefer, I prefer your first story. That's way more elaborate. Are they both native to this area, gray squirrels and red squirrels? No, I'm fairly Not sure that I'm one is an invasive species, but... Mm. Well, that's all well and good. I'm excited to catch up on that next week as well. But have you noticed that everyone's been real sleepy lately? Orpheus says it's not him. Oh, have they? Uh, I've maybe been a little bit distracted with my soap opera. Um, oh. And they didn't notice... The people are sleepy? Yeah. Yeah, you'd say about a third of your classmates all look like they're about to pass out. Maybe uh, it's their nap time? Maybe. I, I can't really even tell if Lenny and Iris are affected because Lenny's just got his nose in his phone and he's trying to act like he's not texting, but it's very obvious. I don't know how the teacher hasn't caught on yet. And Iris is hidden point. behind all of her books. Uh, Lenny, give me a charisma roll real fast. <laughs> okay. Let's see. snitch. Yeah. <laughs> I will roll my d4. <laughs> oh, God. I got a three. Yeah. Maybe it's because you're directly in the center and you're a teenager, so you are a master of the I'm not looking at my phone text. But uh, Miss Rose has you know, continued her lecture and talking about how all land is stolen land in America. I, I chalk it up to uh, being very stealthy and good at texting, but it might also have something to do with the fact that my dad bought the school a wing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, what do you think we should do? If it's not... Orpheus, and it's not any of us. Uh, maybe they all ate a lunch that was too big, or maybe the change in the weather is affecting them. There's any hmm. number of reasons why they could be sleepy. That's very true, but considering our history of the past couple of days, I think we need to get the band together. You know what I mean? Wink, wink. I Just don't know how to case. play any instruments. Well, the band I'm talking about, let's get our, like, our friend group back together. Let's just get Lenny and Iris over here. Oh, oh <laughs> no? okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Here. Cool. Hey, uh, hey, Lenny, you want to come help us on this question? Uh, yeah. Bring uh, okay. Iris. I think she would have some good ideas too. Yeah. You I look over at the box of uh, binders, books, and paper that Iris has made a nest out of in her corner. I'm going to knock on do this every class. Like, I'm going to knock on the book wall. Um, inexplicably, you hear like locks undoing. <laughs> 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 I like open it and I'm like, we're at DEF CON 1 right now. Half the class is sleepy. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Manny and Dahlia want like help with like a question or whatever. Oh, we're, we're, we're going to confer on this. We're going to brainwash. It, I Bra think it's brainstorm. It's, I'm yeah, sorry. That's a, no, that's okay. I'm sorry. I, I, I eat spicy food last you, night. You don't have to apologize to me. I didn't invent English. Okay. Okay, sure. So we're convening outside of this space that I'm in is what you're saying to me? 
Yeah, I thought the assumption was we would go to them. Oh. The camera pulls out and we show that it is about maybe 15 feet difference between where you are currently and where Manny and Dahlia are. It does okay. that thing where like it's got the blinky blink, red. Blink. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let me just get my stuff. And she like gets like she has like a duffel bag and like a like backpack and she's wearing um a camel pack to, to go <laughs> across to where to where they are. Uh Miss Rose at this point, because Iris, whenever you change classes, it's a whole production. Uh she glances up. Oh, is it time for group study? Let us all join together and learn as a unit. Oh, sick. That was good timing. Manny, we're going to have to get another chance to talk to them alone. Unless we have some really good code words we can use. Oh, I, I have, I have the lyric. I have a, I have four CDs of Hoopa Stank. If you want to listen and, and bone up on the lyrics, we can we can eventually send coded messages. Iris' uh, name band is Hoopa Stank. I'm not, <laughs> She's really into Hoopa Stank. I'm not really okay. uh, super into that idea. Like, can we just like write it down on a paper or like text each other? Oh yes. yeah, that was a stupid idea. I don't know why. No, no, it's like. It, it makes sense. Do you? Have I think a phone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Have we exchanged phone numbers with each other yet? Not at I all. Mean, no, I don't give my phone number to anybody. I have everyone's phone number as a resident advisor. Ooh. Well, then why haven't like you ever texted us? Well, I. I don't Wait, initiate- no, you did text us. You sent us that really unhelpful voice memo. Yeah. I was wondering who that was from. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, then you I guess you can me. you can start a group text, right? Yeah, pretty easily. Uh, are you all iPhone or your Android? Because like it, I mean, it, it's just like more difficult if anyone's an Android. IPhone. I, I use okay. an iPhone. iPhone. Are you the I'll Android just... user? Or are, is it, what... No, I got <laughs> both. You... Like, oh, you have both? Yeah. Of course he has both. Why? I don't know. Why not? Yeah, it's easier it's... than like switching. Is it the same phone number? Like you have a duplicate SIM card situation? Okay. Yeah. So you have to switch over your SIM card every time? No. Oh, okay. I just like, they both go to the same. Oh. Must be nice. Easy. M- money bags. No. Which is delightful coming from Iris. <laughs> She's and, extremely rich. <laughs> yes. um, as the four of you decide to finally get some form of organization set up between you, uh, the bell rings and class comes to a close. Um, oh. By saying that five yeah. times fast. Students begin to pack up. Uh, Kelly makes sure to give Iris the stink eye, which she is known to do before no. Kyle driving them. Why is Kelly looking at you like that, Iris? I tried to send a secret note to Dahlia, but instead it it went over and it went into her orbit. And look, I can't have I, I can't have her targeting me. She was she targeted me all last year. She used to um sit on me. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Push you over and sit on you. Right, you know? Really. <laughs> Meanly <laughs> in class, sure. <laughs> anywhere she did it everywhere. Yeah, like she would go to like at lunch and be like, "Oh, no one's sitting here," and sit down. And yeah. I was in the chair. I'm right like, here. Hey. What if she was flirting with you, Iris? <laughs> no, 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 no. But then there's... be nice. You can flirt with someone and be nice. You don't have to keep it, sitting on me. It wasn't like that. It wasn't like, it, it was more like, a, this chair is empty. Nobody yeah. of consequence would be sitting here. Mm-hmm. Just wherever I was, she would find me. We and should, sit. We should not normalize bullying as a method of flirting. Exactly. But maybe she's misguided. I don't know. At this, Orpheus pops his head out of your bag, Dahlia. 
Um, yeah, that doesn't sound like flirting. That just sounds weird. She sounds like a weirdo. She is. And that's coming from me. <laughs> oh, you're aware. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't like being me. <laughs> Why not? I think you're cool. <laughs> Thanks. Grass is greener, I guess. Um, um, oh. Anyway, I wanted to see if you guys noticed that people were sleepy. Like, it's not even the f like very early in the morning and they're really tired. No, I was paying attention to class. Did you know that like uh, the native peoples of this land didn't just all live in teepees? Like some of them had like full blown cities and were very westernized, and we still kicked them out of their land. Uh, yeah, yes. we we all learned about that together, Lenny. Yes. Yeah, I didn't know that because they didn't teach me that at like any school I ever went to. Well, this school teaching, is pretty cool. Yeah, they're teaching it to us at this school. Though I did miss most of it because I was watching Squirrel Soap Opera. It's my favorite afternoon show. And that's when you hear the scream. I, I um, look over at Iris first and then <laughs> see it's not her. And then no, nope, not her. I also yeah. look at Iris first, see it's not her. Can you believe it? I imagine everyone took a beat, looked at Iris, even the bunny head popping out of your bag. Just <laughs> Iris pulls out a mirror and looks at herself, and she's like, "Whoa." <laughs> That wasn't me. It wasn't Sometimes me. I'm screaming and I don't know. <laughs> I mean, okay. which direction moved. did it come from? Uh, it came from down the hall uh, uh, near the stairwell. Because I, I head to the stairwell. Together. I told Manny we should get the gang back together because I knew something was afoot. We're a gang now? I, I don't think my parents would be happy with me being part of gang activity. Have you ever watched Scooby Doo? I'm trying to do a Fred, Fred right now, but. You're more of a Daphne. Hey, wait a what? second. I'm no damsel in distress. What? You got the voice. Okay, I'll give you that one. Fine. <laughs> we'll talk about this later, Orpheus. <laughs> I, have, I have a lot of words to say. I knew we should be together. We need, uh, the Phantom Queen's at it again. Iris, don't scream. You think this is the Phantom Queen? Who else could it be? Anytime anything like this happened, last time someone screamed, it was the PQ. Um, and according to my notes, um, she was kind of stealing other gods' powers, you know? So maybe, if that's stupid, Lenny will tell me. It, I don't think it's stupid. But um, I'm not Lenny, so I guess I can't really tell you. Yeah, but like, it's not. Thank you. That's Orpheus. I have a question I need to ask you later. My brain pan picked up something that I almost forgot, but I just remembered. Hopefully Absolutely, we also need to have our squirrel post show. Mm, cool. I'm gonna go see who's play. screaming in the in the stairwell. <laughs> yeah, I'll follow Lenny. Yeah. Uh, we'll stick together. As the four of you head to the stairwell, um, you're greeted with a crowd of students trying to see what happened, um, and you also see the flashing lights of an ambulance outside. Um, I will need a strength or dexterity roll, whichever is higher, to try to make your way through the crowd. Alternatively, you can also try to, you know, use your anima if you'd like. I got a I'm nine sorry, dexterity. Okay, good. I, guess I got a four strength out of <laughs> 12. Four strength. Four. Uh, I got a six dex. All right. Dahlia and Iris, you two managed to uh, slink your way through the crowd uh, pretty easily. Uh, however, Lenny and Manny, you two are just... You know that uh, thing where it's like, uh, excuse me, no, I'll, I'll go this way. No, 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 that way. No, no, it's good. Yeah, yeah. No, like I don't want to. Oh, oh, excuse me. Excuse me. No, yeah, yeah. Excuse. No, no. My, it's my bad. My bad. Yeah. Uh, the two of you see what happened. Um, you see a blood splatter, and you see a student <gasps> lying down in it. Uh, it looks like they have fallen down the stairs. Oh. 
Oh, maybe I was wrong. I don't know if this was the Phantom. I mean, the, the Phantom Queen. Everything I, okay up there? Can't see anything. No! Iris, oh. Iris, wait, calm down. It's okay. People fall down the stairs every day. Um, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's when uh, Mini Marker, who is also at the back of the uh, crowd, the one who saw Iris' freak out, just decided to close the door. Um, she looks back at you, Manny, and goes, um, some kid passed out on the stairs. Oh, dang. Passed out, like, because they didn't eat enough lunch or didn't drink enough water or fell I, asleep? I don't know. One minute he was talking to, uh, Chovek Zani, you know, the Russian kid, and then he just fell. Can I look around and see if Chovixani is around? Um, yeah, go ahead and give me a... Uh, you don't have to make a roll for it. Um, you do see them. They look pretty in shock, Stan, and they're talking to the ambulance about what happened. Um, well, they're talking to the EMT, not the ambulance itself. That'd be silly. Um Excuse me, Mr. Ambulance, are you a transformer? <laughs> wee woo, wee woo. <laughs> Can I kind of inch over closer to that direction? Um, before you do, you are uh, stopped by a teacher who, uh, uh, listen, we need everyone vacate the stairwell, use the stairs on the south side of the building. That's the left side. Left side, just uh, need to give everyone some room, okay? Okay. Chris, let's make our way back to Manny and Lenny. Inch. Um, I'm just clinging to Dahlia's back. I think as people are moving forward or towards away from the staircase, like I'm kind of facing the same direction that they are as they're walking, but walking backwards through them. Give me a dex roll. <laughs> Five. You moonwalk. You manage to make it look like you're going one direction, but you go in another direction. Yes. Uh, I think I probably pass Iris and Dolly on the way back and go, I need to check on something. You 100% do. Uh. I didn't know he I didn't know they can moonwalk. That's awesome. Why can't you moonwalk? Let's learn well, to moonwalk. It's a very technical skill and I haven't gotten to that part in dancing yet. I can't isolate. I told you this in confidence, Orpheus. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Uh Manny, you managed to get up so um even though the teachers are trying to shoo everyone away, they you managed to slip on by. And you are with this, the Russian student. Um, Chovixani. Oh, uh, his last name. Hello. Uh, hello. Uh, I was wondering, um, when you were talking um, to the other student and he fell down, did he did he look like he was sleepy? to you or something? Uh, yes, told me of nightmare. Nightmare? Bad nightmares. Has... And then fall down stair. Oh, okay. Ja. Okay. Thank you, Chobiksani. Um, uh, are, are you okay? is traumatized, but strong like bull, so it's fine. Are you having nightmares? Um, well, no, um, but first she goes, no. And I'm gonna go ahead and give you an intelligence roll plus two. Thank God, because otherwise I'd never get it. <laughs> Of course I roll a one. 
Okay. Um, so you're aware that the student who fell uh, is from the Rio Grande dorm. Is that the same dorm we're in? You're in Galana. Galana, right. Mm -hmm. The three dorms are all named after rivers in uh, country, in different countries. Right, okay. Well, thanks, Chovixani. Um, I hope you will be okay. Trauma no affect me, too strong. She flexes and you kind of believe her. Russians, how do you like the potatoes they make their vodka out of? And uh, uh, Manny will head, start heading in the direction of, of Lenny and Iris and Dahlia. All right. Ma'at? Yes? Do you think that Chovixani was telling the truth? No, they will have nightmares and will possibly need therapy after this incident. Cool. I do not believe it is cool, but I do understand the meaning of your term. Um, I think I understand what's happening, but I should ask more students before I start to make any specific theories. A wise decision. I'm learning something from you. Not sure what though. There are many things you already know. Emancipation uh, Brown. Really? You yes, so? I do. Though you do need to start paying attention in class. The squirrels will continue to be squirrels. I promise you, their lover did not come back from the war. Squirrels do not have wars, unless they I do. I am almost positive there has been at least one great squirrel war. At least one. I shall investigate this further. All right. All right. Uh, so what are the four of you going to do? But once I catch up to them, I'd let them know what I found out from Chovixani. Oh, huh. Nightmares. Nightmares. Oh. This goes back to the whole sleeping thing. Yeah. Yeah, but hey. uh, dreaming, sleeping, nighttime, that was kind of my, uh, that was my juice and jam. I don't, I can't do that anymore. I can't do anything. I'm just a bunny. What if, what happened to you, all the other gods? Are they still physically somewhere and we just have their powers or? I mean, they were keys. Hmm. Still don't even know what that gorilla guy was. Well, my theory goes out the window. I thought maybe that your power was in a key and that someone else is using your power now, but you're here. So I don't think that's true. Hmm. Are there other gods that have a domain similar to yours? I mean, sure, but uh, none were quite as good as me. Do so they had thumbs. I have a theory. Well, let's hear it. What? What is it? That, well, I think we basically already said it, but that the reason why everyone's sleepy is for the same reason that that kid fell down. Nobody's actually sleeping because they're having really bad nightmares. Oh. Mm. It makes sense. It does, it does. And is it all the, wait, the kids that we saw that were sleepy, were they all at Rio Grande? Give me intelligence roll. Six. They 100% were. Hey, those kids were all at Rio Grande. You think there's something going on over at the Rio Grande? I think maybe because all of us feel fine. And I mean, well, and 
and also like um we were talking to uh my buddy last week and he was saying like at rio grand they had it like because we we think like you know the phantom queen makes you like fail tests and whatnot but over there their their whole thing is like she kills you so maybe that's like she's she she affects them in a different way or whatever right maybe her epicenter of power is at the rio grand dorms not the actual river. not the actual river yeah I, I was on board with that i i understood but we got to get away from there first but we, we also probably... have to stop her yeah i think we actually have to go to the rio grande and see if we can figure out why they're having nightmares and then ask them what their rumors about the uh, the phantom queen are because obviously you know ours is that she'll make you late for all your assignments and the other one is that she'll kill you we don't know the the one for the rio grande is wait wasn't it that the, that she'll kill you at rio grande oh it was yeah. rio grande that she'll kill you we mm -hmm. need to find out what the other one is yeah that'd be uh thames am i saying that right i'm not saying thames that right. thames, thames. thames. Fucking english my favorite thing is the gag from um cats uh and uh Bristlebone, who is a character made specifically for the movie, but has a great little ditty and rhymes, aims, and tames and gets mm -hmm. ripped apart for it because, like, <laughs> you cannot just rhyme tames with aims. It's Thames. It's the dumbest <laughs> thing. Um, it's probably the only good thing James Corden does in that whole musical. Oh. <sighs> I'd argue, but it's just true. There is no argument. No. No. What is I mean, the scale I'd, I'd of extend anything it in anyway, that movie? What I is don't what is the scale? Nothing matters except for Skimbleshanks, the railway cat, and Mephistopheles. Yes. So that's that's just the end of that. Yes. Mephistopheles is a war criminal. No, no. You, not Mr. Mephistopheles. You're thinking of uh, McCavity. Yeah, oh, McCavity. right. McCavity the war criminal. I'm thinking about the magical Mr. Mephistopheles who is just the sweetest, softest little cat. Yes. Very precious. I just remember everything being so naked. Uh, Idris Elba is the most naked I've ever seen him, and it was awful. Mm. Anyways, moving on. Moving I, no, actually, on. I, I got to make the one more thing, the one more point about the fact that there is no one in this world I think anybody wanted to see naked more than Idris Elba, and yet somehow, and yeah. somehow they subverted that in a way and that I don't ever want to see it. Never yeah. again. And I and the reason why is he's the only cat that they matched his fur colors like exactly to his skin tone and it was a mistake. Why did they but they also started him off with clothes and then they took yeah. them off and it was um I still prefer that than ripping off their flesh to reveal a uh, <laughs> another second another cat. another <laughs> set of clothes underneath the flesh. <laughs> if only everyone was wearing suspenders overalls like skimble shanks, then the world would be great yeah. and beautiful. She's Memories all alone in the moonlight. <laughs> okay, all right. So no, sorry. I agree with all of you. It was snubbed. <laughs> <laughs> Just can you believe that. that it actually got nominated for a Grammy? Okay, seriously, we really need to move on. I need to yes. stop. I need to stop living in this. So we need to figure out what happens at the Tim's dorm. Yeah, probably something very British. Oh, Lenny, do you have it there? Phone numbers too. No, I'm not an RA over there. Do you have that RA's phone number? Yeah. You should ask them. Yeah. Or I could go to the website where they list all the, uh, that we RAs log into, the, they list all the phone numbers and I can just, I guess, look up the other ones. Is that ethical? That uh, seems like an invasion of privacy. Yeah, that's why I wasn't going to do questionable. it. Do they have, do they have a, um, like a complaint board? or something like you know it's, online like i keep trying to start a complaint board for our dorm but um it keeps getting deleted because of lack um, of visits i didn't know that was possible oh yeah i think there, there might be an email address you can email oh how, how often does that get checked uh i don't have access to it so i wouldn't know mm. I'm dumb, but that seems sus to me. Yeah, Brown's pretty sus. Looking at you, Lenny. So, what are the four of you going to do? 
I think we've started, I think we've been walking and talking this whole time on our way to the Rio Grande, if I'm not, mis- if I'm not mistaken. Yes. All right. So is our plan just going to, we're just going to walk in there and like, just hope to find her like in, in the, the general area, like eating a, a hot pocket or like what, what's our deal? I was thinking we'd ask students some questions, see if we can figure out if there's like a specific location that the nightmares seem to like be emanating from or whatever. I don't know. Oh. That's probably dumb. No, think, that's that makes I a lot of sense. We probably don't want to see her. I don't want to see her information. OK, what do yeah, I think we should do Iris. You're good at making plans to make sure that we don't like do something stupid. Well, that's what what I would want to do is to run away and never think about this ever again. But I guess if I have to go in there, um, is there any way we could really make it more of a recon situation instead of a hoping to find her? Maybe we could um, um, sneak around and, 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 and try and overhear things. Mm. Kali, maybe- in the back of your mind, begins to chuckle. <laughs> Why? You no, know death comes for us all. Oh, Kali. I, I mean, mean that as a good thing. That means I can be anywhere. Oh. The only thing I can think of is uh, people like to talk when they're like hanging out. So like if we could like, I don't know, have, have like a big old hangout with everybody in the dorm. Even better idea. Why like a don't party? Yeah. Why oh, don't yeah. you throw a party? Uh, why don't you like, ooh, what if? We do like a cross dorm party, like, like, and 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 have everybody there. And then we can collect the information about the tens, and and we can talk to the students from the Rio Grande, and and then like we could collect all of the information together, and 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 you know make distract people a little bit for a while. And maybe, maybe to um, to get people, you know, plant the seed of what people should be talking about at the party. We could make it like a theme, like um, complain about your nightmares party or something, you know, like like let it all out before midterms or, uh, you know, vent to new people party. Why not make it a slumber party? Oh, like a shut in or something. Yeah. And then we can all talk about the nightmares that we've been having, all of us. And yeah. get them to open like, up. Games of truth are there. Yes. Yes. Never been to a slumber party. Cause them. Never been. What do you think, Lenny? Yeah, that makes right. that makes a lot of sense. I'm gonna need. I guess if we're gonna do that, we're gonna need RA approval. So I'm just gonna quickly text them and be like, "Yeah, they're in." Lenny, will, I have a question. Will you have to be on the clock during the sleepover? Or will you uh, be cool, Lenny? You're not going to be Linux, right? Uh, I can go either way. You just got to tell me. So I got I got to sign out when I'm not on duty. Okay. Um, For me, stay signed out. Because I. what if we have to break some rules? Oh, yeah, well, yeah. I don't want you getting in trouble for that. Yeah. I mean, I, I probably won't get in trouble. Yeah, yeah, you got your dad I might get chewed wing. out. Your dad yeah. I'll get chewed out, but that's not like a big deal. Oh, okay, cool. Getting chewed out is uh, not a big deal? No, not really. Why? It all, well, I guess it, it, it only matters if you're being chewed out by uh, someone you respect. Uh, got it. I'm, I'm putting the pieces together, slowly. Got it, okay. Just uh, painting a beautiful picture here. Sad one. So are are we hosting or are we are we are we asking that they host so that way we can you know, I hate to suggest this because my heart wants it to be at our dorm because then I could lock myself into my room. But maybe we should have them host so that way we can sneak around if we need to. That seems like a smart idea. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Lenny, that's when your phone goes off. 
Ah. Yeah. Um, it is Layla Saeed. Uh, she is an RA for Rio Grande. She is also the school president. Ah. Yeah. Uh, I, need, I need to take this, I think. Ah. Hello. Go for Lennox. Hi, Lennox. Uh, it's Layla. How are you? Oh, hey, yeah, I'm, I'm good. Oh, so, good. Um, I saw your message. I think that is a wonderful idea. Uh, doubly so considering tight. what I heard happened in the uh, history building. Are you okay? Me? Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's good. I'm very happy to hear that. Um, cool. Are you okay? Oh, um, I'm fine. I'm a little concerned, but I am fine. Not, oh, sucks. No. Um, but no, this idea, I think it is a very, very smart idea. I think it, uh, we could possibly do oh, it. Oh, yeah, it, the... it was all Iris. Oh. <laughs> I hear him do that, and I get out a little notebook, and I write, like, a little something. <laughs> oh, that is uh, most unexpected, but uh, very appreciated. I am glad to hear she is coming out of her shell. I'm glad you two are getting along. she's glad you're coming out of her your shell. Okay, well, don't tell her. Don't get too excited. I'm not gonna do okay. anything. I'm not gonna, uh, you know. Iris, you have to play truth or dare. You have to. Only if you promise to dare me to, to lock myself in a room. <laughs> no promises. Oh. She says thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I will go ahead and expedite the paperwork. We could have this uh, ready to go tomorrow. Oh. Sick. Mm -hmm. um, with that, uh, what you have set up your plan to get into the dorm and see if maybe you can figure out what's going on in here. The day of the party arrives the following day, and it is there's a pretty good turnout. Um, people showed up with their sleeping bags. Uh, they have set up everything in the Rio Grande uh, lobby which is pretty large. Yeah, uh, they put up uh, some TV, a switch. Yeah. Popcorn. Lennox had uh, had four of those giant, like big mama, big mama pizzas. They're like the, like the, the ones that are like three feet long. <laughs> yes. Like four of them show up and they can't quite fit them through the door. So they have to kind of fold them a little bit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> makes me so sad. I don't know why. Um, so yeah. What are the four of you doing? Um, I'm trying to convince my friends to like set up their sleeping bags around me so that like as like a little wall so that way I'm separate from everybody else. Manny is cool with that. Manny doesn't care where they sleep. I, I think that Manny is the type of person that you'll find asleep in the weirdest places in the very like strangest positions. You're just not sure that how that happened. But that I think I feel like that's Manny. That's that's strong Manny energy. <laughs> Uh, Dahlia, like the pictures of sleeping pandas. <laughs> <laughs> Dahlia hasn't even put her bags down. She's just been running around trying to see how many people would be interested in playing a game of zip zap zap. <laughs> so far, you've found uh, one, and it is the president of the drama club. Perfect. Yes, Christina Thompson. She is uh, very serious about her zip zap zap. So, so. am I. <laughs> The lightning clashes behind the two of you as you glare, zip, zap, and zop at each other. But yes, the party really? seems to be going incredibly well. Um, and even though it's only about eight o'clock, students are already falling asleep. I think that uh, Manny has, after setting up their, their sleeping bag next to Iris's, um, has kind of been meandering around the party like probably because you know they are one of the people that are like hosting essentially the party like they've been making sure everybody's settled in and has everything that they need and is basically just kind of keeping an ear open and you know maybe they have snacks that they've been passing out that kind of thing uh go ahead and give me a charisma roll let's see how uh, well your uh information gathering eh, not great three Okay. Um, not a lot of people are talking about their nightmares or dreams in general. Uh, it, there does seem to be sort of this malaise over a lot of the residents from Rio Grande. 
Um, some of them have mentioned in passing, like being glad to be outside their dorm room, but you aren't able to gather too much. Uh, can oh, I want to use my anima. You can. Um, I want to use my anima's ability specifically and see if I can draw a little bit of truth from this situation. Kind of uncover, see if I can't uncover something uh, using the ability. Okay. Um, you see, uh, you see Leroy, uh, the one you have class with, uh, and he's chatting with some, with Evil Dice Monkey. You don't know if that's a nickname or not, and honestly, you're sure, it, you're, you're fine not knowing. They're a member of the video game club, and it's just one of those things where it's like, Evil Dice Monkey, perfect. That's so you. Probably some sort of tag, like gamer tag. True. Um, what are you going to ask? Um, hey, uh, Leroy? Uh, he turns around. Uh, he has his hair uh, in cornrows and he's managed to put it into a bit of a ponytail for the night. Oh. Hey, Can what's I, up, Manny? Uh, not much. I hope you're having a good time. Yeah, can't complain. Uh, how have you been feeling lately? I'm all right. Um, sleeping okay? Not really. I mean, uh, you know, midterms are coming up or something. Or maybe I need to stop eating spicy food. Why? Oh, um... You can tell he's not really comfortable telling you, but if you are going to use the power of my at, go ahead and give me power and charisma <laughs> and spend an AP point. Yes, I love using my powers to coerce people. It's so much fun. Your eyes glow white as you say, tell me the truth. <laughs> <laughs> power of my at compels you. Uh, that's a young priest and an old priest. That I just rolled, so I'm gonna try that again because wrong die. Uh, oh, I rolled a ten and a twelve, so I rolled a twenty-two. Mm. Just okay. short, just short. <laughs> <laughs> With that roll, yeah. Um, even though you could tell he's a little surprised at himself for telling you. Yeah, uh, I keep having a dream where I'm in my dorm room and everything's upside down and uh, outside doesn't look right. And then when I try to leave, there's this uh, white lady. And I don't mean like he motions to some of your classmates like that. I mean like white. And she ha has these like really fucked up Freddy Krueger nails and she looks like she's covered in like blood or something like that and she's like Bleh. and uh, it, like I basically have to hide in my dorm room and she can't get in there which is nice but it's like a little claustrophobic after a while and um, I'm talking a lot I'm gonna I'm gonna go get punch I need punch less talking or punch Manny kind of scooches back in the direction of Iris and the whole time they're thinking they there's this kind of weird feeling that they have like from using the anima's power that way and like uh and and being surprised at how successfully they did so um and they're they're like kind of grappling with that a little bit as they move back towards Iris and they're like um I think the Phantom Queen is showing up in people's nightmares. Uh, popping out um, from behind a decorative pillow, a cat's pillow, of course, black with the yellow eyes, um, Orpheus kind of flops down. You think she's in dreams? Well, 
Leroy described this white woman with that was like bleeding and like and and very very white like not like you know white people white but like white mm -hmm. um and like screaming and and stuff like that it, it might not be the phantom queen but now that sounds like the phantom queen but i'm pretty sure it's the phantom queen she she appeared in this person's nightmares so possible she's appearing in other people's nightmares too hmm Hmm. Oh, 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 um, I, oh, oh, Dahlia, uh, Dahlia's really into the Zip Zap Zop game. Okay, um. Do you need me to get their attention? No, uh, well, maybe in a bit, but, uh, would you two be willing to try something? I don't have my powers like I used to, but there is something I might be able to do. Okay, what? He looks over to the pile of, uh, Sleeping bags, Iris has co-opted. Mm -hmm. um, have you ever heard of dreamwalking? Sleepwalking, yes, but not dreamwalking. Well, um, basically, it was kind of how I used to keep tabs on things, make sure there wasn't like anything too messed up. Uh, basically, you all share a dream. I might be able to do that still. Maybe. It I need some focus and a pizza. Mostly I just want pizza, but I can focus. I can focus. There's a you. lot of pizza here. Is that, did you see like there's a lot of pizza here? I know. Do, do, do you want me to get you some iris? You seem pretty uh comfortable in your uh igloo. Yeah, well I'm not I'm not gonna leave if I have the choice, but um so we're all gonna share a dream with everyone in here or just or just or just the core four um one love the title thank you feeling it uh two maybe maybe everyone but uh if it's i can make it so the four of you are definitely in control of what you're doing in there if we die in the dream do we die in real life no that's stupid oh well then actually i think i might thrive <laughs> <laughs> okay cool yeah um I'm, I'm down sounds interesting uh eric what is lenny up to right now uh lenny he is parties so. yeah he's 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 talking to a lot of people uh just drinking punch and like just like being a social butterfly is he having a good time he is as good as he'll allow himself to have. The watchful eye of father. <laughs> All right. Uh, Dahlia, go ahead and give me a charisma roll real fast. Oh, great. All right. That is a seven. Uh, she got a 12. Despite your best efforts, you once again have been defeated at Zip Zap Zop. I'll get you one day. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. How do you Wind master Grove. valves so well? How do you how do you switch between Zip Zop and Zap so fast? <sighs> it takes a lot of practice. A lot of grit and determination. I studied with the strongest monks that uh, Slam City had to offer. I scoured the Nerdist floor. I fought till I bled at Groundlings until I mastered it. Okay, so I need to bleed before Improv I classes, consider. improv classes. They really Got help. It. Oh, yeah. that was a really good monologue. Thank you. Oh my Thank goodness. You. Yeah. Was, wow. I'm gonna go uh, see if my friends wanna play. You wanna hold it down here? We might be back for some zip zap zap. Maybe oh, even- Oh, I would, but uh, Layla wants, to, Layla needs some new blood for Mario Kart. She keeps beating everyone and it's- uh, Got it. It's brutal. Maybe she later. takes no prisoners. Later, later. We could even play like Big Booty or Shibuya or something like that. I do love some Big Booty. I will destroy you at Big Booty, but I do love it. Not, I've- I've been training since last time. Keep your eyes out. 
And I'm going to like walk backwards as I'm doing this. To Give me a dexterity roll. Oh no. Am I going to trip <laughs> over someone? I got a two. Directly into the pizza. <gasps> oh, onto the big pizza. <laughs> onto the large pizza. <laughs> I turn redder than the sauce of the pizza. <laughs> I am so embarrassed in front of everybody. I think Manny notices that and kind of runs over and sort of like interposes themselves between Dahlia and all of the people and just kind of pulls a couple of napkins from the table and just kind of starts like blotting Dahlia as like, because you don't rub. Mm, no, you rub. blot. Uh, starts blotting Dahlia and kind of helping her up and just like, it's okay. You're all right. Uh, why don't you come come into the igloo? Thank you, Manny. Oh my gosh, I I haven't been this embarrassed since I flubbed the line in the last play. It's okay. Everybody will have forgotten it. Probably by tomorrow, depending on how whatever it is we're about to do goes. Have you seen Lenny? Lenny, last what are you doing? Uh, right. Right now we're having uh, a chugging competition, uh, and cool. uh, yeah, but we're all like, there's no actual alcohol here because it's a it's a school function, so it's just yeah. like like Kool Aid or whatever the, whatever the hell we're drinking. All right, all right. Uh, it's you against uh, Brendan Shock, the student you saved uh, last week. Um, Go ahead and give me a uh, strength roll. Okay. Six. You got a 10. You, it gets caught in your throat a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm the king. I'm the king. Yeah. You're like, Hella good at this. Well, I mean, it's uh, Kool Aid. It's not that hard, but uh... <laughs> there's a lot of sugar in Kool Aid, though. Oh, well, hey, Manny. Hi, Lenny. Please come with me. Yeah. Okay. All right. See you later. Later. Oh, tell Iris I said hi. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Did you hear that? Brendan just asked you to tell Iris that he said, hey. Yeah, I, I, I was there. <laughs> but like, uh, never mind. Okay. As soon as we get back to the end glue, like, Mary's just like, Iris, guess what? I'm blotting uh, Dahlia's pants. Brendan said, hey. Yeah, he said to say hey to you. Also, it smells like pizza in here. It's nice. Don't point it out, Lenny. What? <laughs> I tripped and I fell on the big pizza. Huh. You didn't notice a butt-shaped hole in the pizza? Nah. People just ate around the butt shape. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Dahlia, I know what it's like to have attention on you when you don't want it. So my condolences to you, but you will survive. Oh, but I always want attention on me. Oh, well then I don't, I guess you're just screwed. <laughs> but for the right reason. Right, right. Pizza, but for the rest of my time here. I don't think anyone's gonna call, I don't, I I think you're the only one calling you pizza butt. So I think it's okay for yeah, now. Yeah, like, like not, I don't know if this helps, but that's like not a very inventive thing to like call someone. Also, you could always just tell people you are practicing your prat falling. <gasps> Physical comedy like Carrot Top. Manny, you're you're a genius. You know I what? Know. If I do it twice, it's not a coincidence. And I'm gonna like run over and pretend to prat fall on the pizza again. <laughs> no. Give me a dexterity roll. <laughs> Everyone's just like, no. <laughs> I got a six that time. Chest first into the pepperoni. Oh, um, whoops! Is anybody watching? Um, no one was, and then you <laughs> screamed, oh, whoops, now everyone's looking at you, and there's a couple blinks, and then finally someone goes, uh, actually, Blue Linnet goes, 
you've ruined the pepperoni. Thank you, thank you. Just practicing my prat falls over here. <laughs> uh, just carry on. Good night, everyone. I good, am... good one. Good, good one. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna like. That was like hella funny. <clears throat> I don't want anyone to think that I missed uh, Manny. So, who who said to say hi? Brandon. Brandon. To me? Yeah, he said, tell Iris, I said, hey. Oh, okay. Oh. I will remember that in my heart, but I'm also scared. But it's okay. You sound also, oddly calm right now, Iris. Inside me is a typhoon. <laughs> I understand that. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you all have typhoons inside your bodies? That seems like it would be very dangerous, and you should probably see a doctor about that. Well, sometimes I feel like if I'm gonna, if I feel my feelings, um, I'll die. Yeah, like if you open the floodgates, you'll never be able to close them again. You'll be ultimately consumed by the sadness and ennui that's inside you at all times. <laughs> Orpheus has stolen a notebook from Dahlia and is taking notes. Uh huh. Why are we full of ennui? Um, what is ennui? It sounds like ennui. ennui it's like a fa nice. it's a fancy French word for sad. Mm hmm. General. Um, Malays. Oh. oh no, are you starting to feel sleepy too, Iris? Oh no, my terrible sleep patterns have nothing to do with any supernatural source. I only sleep in 10 minute increments. <laughs> Why? N not by no purpose of my own. I think it's fight or flight. Are you afraid that if you go to sleep for real, like you won't wake up? Well, I can't see what's happening. Someone could jump on me or sit on me. Someone Ruin. could do something. That's not good for your REM cycles. I'm sure no, you it's never not. get to deep sleep at all. I don't no. think Iris has REM cycles anymore. <laughs> no, I just, well, every time I blink, I have a tiny dream. <laughs> That's almost poetic. Uh, real quick, uh, if you want to... Uh, see some more pratfalls or something, don't forget to check out our tips. And we also have a, a toast from It's-A-Me, Bando. <laughs> I will yeah. always wow. say their name like that. I do not care. Fairly certain you're supposed to. Uh, in lovely memory of the pizza. It never had a chance. Amen to that. Mm. That pizza, just. Yeah, there were like pizza. four others. I know. <laughs> Dolly now just we're... got lost in the sauce, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, I'm so mad at myself for not thinking of that first. I love that. <laughs> That's good. That's very good. Also, a uh, real quick reminder from production, uh, you can enter the PDF giveaway by putting exclamation point enter giveaway in the chat. So Ooh. make sure you do that. Free copy of Overarms. Why not? So as we find out what we find out a little bit more that Iris and Lenny have more in common than anyone expected. And they definitely, definitely, desperately should consider therapy. We're just, I'm just throwing it out there. You know, it's good for everyone. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Um, eventually about 11 o'clock rolls around and that's when they start turning the lights down low. Not for romantic stuff, for sleepy times. <laughs> I was going to say, what kind of sleepover is this? <laughs> Brandon makes his way over. Hey, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> Hyperventilating. <laughs> now you want her. <laughs> oh, okay, we'll get Manny in the lobster costume. <laughs> um, so what's so. the what's the plan here? Did anyone get any info? We're all gonna share a dream. What? Yeah, yeah, no. Um, okay, worst case scenario, you guys get a full night's sleep. So I think this is a win. Uh -oh. Do we, do we like- Jim Queen is haunting people's dreams. Okay, uh -huh. okay, I'm all caught up. Got it. Oh, yeah, How that are part. we gonna share a dream? 
Are we I just might... gonna like have a mantra like we're dreaming of this, we're dreaming of this, and then when we fall asleep, we hope it's the same dream? Um, sort of, but you're going to just focus on your divinity while you try to sleep, okay? Oh. Oh. And do we like pick the dream now or like, cause? It'll be a lot easier if you all agree on a location. Yeah. Otherwise you might have to meet up and that's gonna be kind of difficult. Why don't we just agree to meet here? Like right where we are right now. Yeah, okay. Sure. All right. And um, if you die in your dream, you don't dra- die in real life. No, you just wake up and you might have a headache. Wow. Well, oh, oh this is going to make all of us very brave. I can't wait. <laughs> Iris, I've never seen you smile like this. <laughs> I never knew this was possible. <laughs> See? Sleeping isn't bad after all. More rabbit notes. Okay. <laughs> All right, Orpheus, let's do this. Okay. I need all of you to give me an intelligence and power roll, but do not spend an AP. Oh, I forgot to do that. Oh, wait. Intelligence and power, you said? Yes. Four on both. Oh. Um, so, I mean, oh not, not together. I'm sorry. God. Eight total. Eight total. Okay. That is my second time rolling max on both my die. That's a critical success. Yeah. I was max on both of my die before too. That, that yeah. 22 that I rolled. This is, this is only a, a, a 16, but it's still a four and a 12. So. I got a 10. I got an eight. Okay. So the world, as you fall asleep, you focus on your divinity. Um, Lenny, you see the great pot that has created society, more or less, uh, Ninkasa and her joy and her power. You see that it's been the backbone for many a civilization, even though it's only beer. And you are now standing in the lobby of the Rio Grande dorm. Huh. Wow, I was that not. Huh. Uh, Manny, you also, you fall asleep almost immediately in a way that just makes me so jealous. Someone who has to like down five melatonin if I want to maybe get to sleep before three. You're asleep immediately and you see that golden bird you see the honor and the justice and the weight of the world and you're with Lenny the two of you are in what looks like a version of the lobby um except everything is purple and white Uh, the sky above you is red and the roads are a glistening beautiful black hey Lenny Ah, so did they redecorate this? No, I think this is fake. Fake. It's not well, fake. It's, a, it's dream. a dream. Oh, right, right, right. Hey, it worked. Fifty percent. Where, where is Iris and Dahlia? Oh crap! Oh, I'll text them. I don't, I don't have my phone here. You don't get cell service in dreams. Okay. Well, now I know that. Cool. Yes, Iris. Hmm. Um, it didn't work. You're back in your room. It looks just completely normal. Absolutely normal. Ah. So do I know for sure it's not a dream or I'm just in my room? I'm going to try and look at myself in the mirror. Okay. Um, you look well rested. You look uh, content and it looks like you're someone who has actually learned to take a deep breath and relax. Huh. Okay. I guess I'll try to make my way out and back over to the Rio Grande. 
to see if maybe other people woke up. And I guess that's where we're supposed to meet. So I guess that's where we're supposed to meet in real life too. All right, go ahead and give me an intelligence roll. Nine. Okay. Um, you open the front door of your dorm room and instead of the hallway in Galana, you are on the quad directly in front of the Rio Grande. And in the uh, inside the building, you see Manny, Lenny, and a bunny. This is strange. Okay. <sighs> Am I in a dream? You're asking me? I'm, she's talking to herself. Okay, I'm sorry. Narrator has questions sometimes. No, 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 no. Um, okay, wait. So in this dream, she can see herself in the mirror. I ask because in dreams, you can't see yourself in the mirror. Really? I didn't know I mean, that. You can't read and you can't see yourself in the mirror. I knew about the can't read thing. Yeah. Um, hmm. Okay. <gasps> I'm going to pinch myself. Okay. And uh, you feel pain. Oh, uh, it's real. Then why is this so weird? <sighs> okay, I'm just going to run because I see uh, Manny and Lenny and Orpheus. So I'm going to run towards them. You do. And you do. Uh, you've reached the front doors of the dorm and you see what Lenny and Manny saw. Beautiful red sky black streets and uh, everything is kind of purple and white. It didn't work for me. Uh, no, it definitely worked. Wait, so I yeah. am in the dream? Yes. Oh, well then let's get this thing started. Uh, I'd love that, but where's Dahlia? Just gotta come over here, right? True. Uh, gotta figure out where she is first, though. It might be easier if we go to her, but then again. No, if, if you're, if, if yeah. we're, if she's lost, the best thing is that we stay in one spot. That way she can find us. Because if we go looking and then she comes here and she's like, well, this can't be it because they're not here. Or is it the other way around? Should, should she stay still and we move? No. No, we don't move. Right? We stay where we are. Yeah. I don't know. Dahlia? Yes. The moment has come. They, you've already won Best Supporting Actor, Best Actor, Best Supporting Actress, uh, Best Actress, and now you're about to win the world's greatest performer who's ever lived. The Academy Awards have never had someone sweep almost every category, but somehow you have. Oh, who's your date, by the way? Oh, no. Uh, it would probably be, you put me on the spot here. And the first thing I thought of was Johnny Depp, but as Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, sitting next to you with his sad, <laughs> handless life why why did they put scissors here in the first place uh with his wild hair your hair is oh wild. anytime dahlia dreams she she's always dressed up in the outfit that jean valjean wears in les mis no <laughs> yes no, oh, no. Uh, <laughs> johnny depp with his uh very sad mouth and scissor hands looks to you like this, this is your moment. This is your time to shine. And that is when uh, Paul Giamatti and Maya Angelou announce the best actress who's ever lived, Dahlia Wingrove. <laughs> and the music starts, confetti falls. Oh God. Oh, the tears are running down Meryl Streep's face as she throws down her tiara and stomps on it. You oh, see- goodness. I pretend to drip up the stairs to be quirky and relatable. Oh, God. Ellen DeGeneres applauds as she sits in her cell. Um, <laughs> uh, wow. Greta Garbo, lying on her chase lounge, tips her martini to you. I just want to say there's, there's no place I would rather be 
than here right now. There's no place in the world that I have a commitment to than here on this stage right now. I'd like to thank my date, Johnny Scissorhands. I don't know which one to call you. Snip, 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 snip. He doesn't talk. He just kind of snips in your direction. Kind of like a crab. And what is that? Do you hear the people sing? And then I try to like get the rest of the audience. Oh, everyone sing. comes in unison and they all have the moves rehearsed. They the the, weeks the doors uh, to the audience open up and the cast for Les Mis marching with <laughs> flags and everything. Oh, absolutely. Hugh Jackman is carrying the award for me. <laughs> Hugh Jackman is carrying the award though. He's dressed like Alphaba for some reason, but he still pulls off because it's Hugh Jackman. Um, so incredible. I could stay here all night and uh, I will. Dahlia, Dahlia, Dahlia. Hi, Dahlia. Um, yes. It is your manager, Persephone. Um, Dahlia, <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure we have a place to be. Oh, after party? Um, n- yes. She says no, but like a bad dub, you hear yes. <laughs> Perfect, lead the way. I can't wait to have champagne for the first time in my life. Um, immediately, you're handed a flask of champagne and it tastes like sparkling grape juice because you have no idea what champagne tastes like. This is incredible. Gosh, I can't wait to sh- tell my friends all of... Oh, 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 tell my friends. Yeah, you felt... Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. Johnny Scissorhands. I'll have to meet you again on another night. I have somewhere to be. He's a sad crab. (laughs) I put my hand on my like sheathed sword. (sighs) I have to be with my friends. I'm so glad. I've been trying to for the past 15 minutes. It's only been 15 minutes? Imagine what I could do with eight hours of dream sequence. Oh my gosh, Hollywood would be mine. But that's for another night. Yes, sweetheart, let's let's go. Um, Persephone goes ahead and makes a uh, doorway for you out of uh, brambles and flowers. Perfect, I'll walk through it. Yep, so you finally join your friends and you are dressed like Jean Valjean. Oh, hey. Hey guys. Cool clothes. Sorry, it took me so long. I was getting every award ever to, and some that don't exist yet. Finally, I've just been Great. sitting here with my thumb up my ass waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Iris, Iris? 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 I think Iris is excited to kick some uh, dream ass. Oh my. So it is Iris. Wow, this is incredible. Here, have yeah, my sword. No, I've, been making, I've been making notes. This is utterly fascinating. Yeah. I've, my- I've given Iris my sword at this point. <laughs> I've taken it. I do like a and then put it in just like through my belt loop. If I had to guess, it's because this is the first time Iris has truly lived her life without consequences. I cannot wait to see what she's going to do. Yeah. I mean, honestly, neither can I. <laughs> Thanks for Seriously. Asking. Also, I hate to be that guy, but chat at $120, uh, we can figure out why Iris is the way she is. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> So do we want to go hunting for the Phantom Queen? Uh, I do not, but we should. It's a responsible thing to do. Let's go. Also, I'm going to need someone to proofread my notes. It's really hard to write without thumbs, but that mm-hmm. that's for later. OK. Not me. You should get. You should do swipe texting. It's actually really fast. I don't have a phone. I'm a rabbit. Oh, you, you want one? I can get you a phone. That's. <laughs> That's very Darth generous. Phones. Thank you. Can you hold a phone without thumbs? Very good question. We'll have to find that out. Okay. All right. As the four of you uh, explore the dorm, it's less of a dorm. It's almost like a castle. Um, the doors are sealed shut. These large wooden uh, and metal sh- structures that look incredibly safe. Um, go ahead and give me an intelligence roll as you go hunting. Five. Four. 
<laughs> Five. I love okay. playing an idiot. <laughs> Manny, <laughs> Manny, what distracts you this time? Well, I mean, the color palette of this entire dreamscape is just kind of clashing in a way that doesn't jive with, with Manny's sensibility. Is like this red sky and, and the black streets and and purple whatever it's it's just very dark and somber and meh. um and i think i think that's like they keep seeing little things that they're kind of you know mentally griping about as far as like just the whole aesthetic of this place just like i don't like how the phantom queen decorated <laughs> she has very bad taste all right um, the rest of you, you see uh, around a corner several large sheep uh, walking on their hind legs and carrying what look like axes. Whoa, don't count how many there are. Uh, <laughs> one, two. No, it's a dog. Uh, you count why four. Not? It don't, that's like classic, like you count them and you like fall asleep. Oh, wait, I guess we are asleep. We are asleep. So, should we count them? We're asleep, old buddy. Okay. But why are uh, they with that, axes? the the sheep men look over at you. Who are you for? Who are you for? We are dream guards. We are dream oh. guards. Prisoner two four six zero one. We don't have prisoners here. Dream guard two four six zero one. You're not guards. Where's your wall? Uh, Manny just kind of like runs their fingers through their, their thick black wavy hair. Mm. I don't one believe them, in using animal products. One of them looks a little too close at your head, Manny. It's a little uncomfortable. Distance, please. Man. You don't see me running my fingers in through your hair or getting all nosy with you. But you said you were a sheep. I'm a black sheep. But there's so little of so it. So am I. <laughs> I have been shorn. Oh, you poor thing. It's okay. Give our wool to someone less fortunate than we. That's a lie. I am not actually a sheep. Oh. oh. But... And they draw uh, their are, axes. Roll uh, initiative. We, we are here to we are here to guard dreams. Let's get this started. Let's go, people. <laughs> What's initiative? Iris, again? go ahead and add two to your initiative just for this. Like, I think it's deck speed, right? It is your decks and your speed. Sweet. I will eventually remember how initiative. I said this last week too, but you know, I got a it's six. It's okay. I've been running combat wrong. I found out. So, Dahlia with a six. Uh, I'm sorry, you said plus two? Yes. Well, then that would be a five. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Rolled pretty bad. Nine. I got an eight. All right, Lenny with an eight. So, Manny, they all pull their axes out and you see their eyes turn red as they turn into very angry sheeple. What are you going to do? We are only here to protect the dreamers from the Phantom Queen. We are not here to hurt you or anybody uh, else. Give me a charisma and power roll uh, and spend an AP. Cool. Uh, charisma, power, charisma, power, charisma, power. Pretty good rolls for me. Mm. That is an eight. Um, one of them puts down their axe. Oh, the other three do not. Maybe you can help me convince your friends. Oh no, they're stubborn. Oh. All right. Uh, and I'm Len guessing that's that's it for me. <laughs> yes. Cool. I think Sorry, that Manny. yeah, just as a movement action, then I'm gonna maybe interpose myself between the friendly sheep and the sheep that are are angry. 
yeah, I'll let, let you do that. Everyone gets two actions. Well, one attack, another action. I'm moving, basically. Fair enough. Lenny, you're up next. Sorry, sheep. Uh, we need to get past you. And also, I'm not entirely sure if you're real or not. <laughs> so I'm just going to send a, a giant wave of, of water to crash against the ones that are still seem threatening. So I will roll my, let's see, I, I roll intelligence and range minus two. Mm -hmm. So D8, which is this one, and then D12. And let's see how pet terrible I roll. Ooh, that is 17 minus two, the, that's 15. That will absolutely hit. All right. And let's see how much damage I do. Um, then I do 11 damage. Oh, um, so you managed to get one of these sheep wet. And have you ever gotten a uh, wool sweater wet? Not, I haven't. Uh, well, he gets very soggy and then begins to kind of shrink as he dries. No! It stinks. All right, you only have two to deal with left. Dahlia, you're up. Hey, Persephone. What's your thought on axes? Pretty bad for wildlife, right? But very fun to use. Oh. Well, do what you must. And I'd like to let Persephone unleash her own power. <laughs> okay. Give me a strength and power roll. <laughs> Two not ones. <laughs> so that's a critical fail. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yikes. Oof. Okay. Um, I'm going to say she begins to swing and accidentally brings out another sheep. This one made entirely out of roses. Of course. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh dear. My mistake. My mistake. My mistake. Sorry. I gave you full control. I know you did. I'm sorry. They're just very cute. Oh, gosh. Sorry, everyone. We have a third one to deal with. Yes, this one bellows, and it kind of sounds like wind rattling through dead trees. It's very creepy. Iris, you're up. Um. Okay. Uh, I'm going to add, I'm going to talk to Kali. And yes, is it possible for you to basically cut, like, rip a, a like a gash into the space time continuum, and I could throw that as a javelin? Oh, oh, Iris, Iris, you're my favorite. Let's have some fun. Okay, all right, give me a dexterity power roll. Okay. And spend the AP. Uh, is it, I, I think, is it dex power? Or is it dex range? Uh, you know what? You have a good point. We'll make it dex range. Okay. Wow. I have cursed di dice tonight, you guys. Uh, okay. Uh, so I'm sorry. You said for my accuracy. So to hit, it's minus two, right? Yes. Mm, four. Really bad, really bad. That actually hits. It does? These guys roll... These guys have terrible initiative. So wow. I found out I've been running combat wrong. Your... Uh, oh, Dregan55, thank you so much for that very generous tip. Thank um, you. Uh, your AC is your initiative. Oh. Yes. And oh, their initiative... Know stinks <laughs> okay well glad it worked out that way yeah so roll your damage so okay. do we even need to roll initiative uh you do need to roll initiative but the npcs have a static one and these ones ah. suck uh 15 okay um so you watch as a sheep turns into a constellation as you stab it with a space time continuum sword. I mean, dagger, spear, I don't know. It's a javelin. It's a javelin. 
it is a javelin and it is a uh, y'all. I'm like, whoo, okay, let's get this party started. What's up? Feeling good, feeling strong. There's one sheep left and he watches in terror. My brothers. <laughs> You monster! He shrieks as he comes barreling towards you, Iris, uh, axe in hand. Okay. Uh, okay, he got an eight. That's going to hit. Um, ten. What is your defense? Uh, D six. Okay, give me a D six. Three. Okay, so. Wait, nope, that is incorrect. I apologize. That is a static D6. So, oh. uh, no, no, you're fine. You only take four damage. Okay. You take four damage as this sheep who, uh, you're kind of realizing his weapon looks like that thing they used in Star Trek for Ponfar. I uh, don't, I don't recall what that or looks bat like. The... Was it? Batleth? Yeah, Batlet. Basically, it, it kind of looks like one of those things you use to get pizza out of a brick oven. Oh yeah, but yeah, yeah, sharp yeah. And pointy. Ponfar um, <laughs> is a is a is a Vulcan uh, a Vulcan thing, and yeah, Ponfar is when Klingon. Ponfar is when the Vulcans have sex every ten years. Okay, I'm shoving someone <laughs> in a locker for this conversation. Um, Says the person who completely mixed. Never mind. I got it wrong, and I'm admitting <laughs> this. I I'm, I'm not good at my job. We know this. <laughs> And my job is apparently to make nerdy references. Uh, yeah, so, but on that note, um, we have unlocked three rolls for the table. Yay! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. And also, um, Iris, you take the hit and you go stumbling back and that hole you made into the space-time continuum, mm -hmm. you stumble into it. You are not, however, floating in the cold vacuum of space because this is a dream. Right. Instead, uh, you're in a dream you hate having. It's part of the reason you don't like to sleep. So, Iris, what made you so scared of everything? Oh. Well, it was the most tragic thing to ever happen to anybody in the history of anything. Mm-hmm. Mother and father uh, went out to um, the theater one night when I was young. Mm -hmm. They decided to go over to a friend's house afterwards. And that meant I had to stay at um, a family friend's house. I didn't get along with the other child because uh, no one likes me. Um, mm -hmm. And little did I know that them staying out that one night would change my life forever. They served me undercooked chicken and I got salmonella. And therefore, I don't trust anybody. <laughs> and I was sick for a day and a half. So it's all valid why I feel the way I do. Your feelings are valid. And Kelly, I love you so much. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so Iris, you are in a tasteful mid-century bathroom. And this is probably the worst place on earth to you. Because you are watching as a... How old were you when this happened? Um, six. Yeah. You're watching six-year-old you uh, pretty much cower next to a practical stranger's toilet, clutching their stomach, feeling the most alone you've ever felt in your life. Also, their toilet wouldn't flush. You did not tell me that aspect of the story. It wouldn't flush. It wouldn't flush. <laughs> It just like it would get higher. I tried so hard to take it seriously. I tried to really do. Um, <laughs> so yes, you are 
you're back there. Emotionally, physically, you are back there, like it or not. No! I was feeling so strong just a second ago. But now, oh my gosh, it's just, why did these things just make you feel like you're that small again? (sighs) Behind you, Kali rises. Child. What? It is because you are that small. All beings are that small. And once you accept how small you are, then you can grow. I guess, yeah, you know? This toilet sucks! I bet you everybody in this family's clogged this toilet! I bet they have. Okay, so they're small too. Yes. Okay, so so what? So what? I destroyed their bathroom. It was already bad. Okay. Hey, kid, get up. Get, get up. Is it, is the... Uh, young you looks up and it's not fun to look at. Not because, you know, she looks terrible. Because she does. Everyone does after they throw up. But because it really just stings to look at. Oh. Um. Hey. I'm sorry. It's, you know what? It's okay. Um. Everyone, everyone, everyone goes through this kind of stuff. And honestly, they made the chicken. Hearing what you wish someone had told you when you got sick, just someone to tell you it's okay, it's not permanent, and it's not your fault, really just... Iris, you feel a sense of like fullness you haven't felt in a very long time and the door behind you swings open and you see the hallway where your friends are fighting oh we are back in initiative okay well before i go um you know what sometimes you expect things out of people and they're not gonna give it to you and that's just you just gotta move on with your life bye (laughs) All right, Manny, kick us off. All right, so uh, how, we have the rose sheep that's kind of around, yes. right? You have uh, rose sheep and angry sheep. You also have a uh, tiny <laughs> sheep and a sheep's lost somewhere in the cosmos. Uh, so <laughs> um, Manny is going to like bum rush the rosy sheep and start basically pulling the roses off of the off of the sheep. And as they do, they kind of toss over their shoulder to Dahlia. From the ashes of disaster grow the roses of success. And uh, I'm just gonna start just gonna start pulling pulling the, the roses off. Like Okay. Um I'm gonna need just a strength roll for you because it doesn't sound like you're using Ma'at for this. No, I'm just using uh using a musical theater lyrics um you know that's all and a two a two Mm -hmm. very impressive yeah um and i have decent strength too which you you disappoint me oh wait i have a reroll oh yeah use your rerolls we got them seven seven perfect uh you are removing these flowers this thing is writhing on the ground there's branches everywhere and dahlia the lyrics the lyrics they sing in here uh okay so i'm going to say the next attack on the sheep will be at a plus two lenny you're up all right uh i see that um manny's going after that rose sheep uh going to um pick up a football that is just on the ground. I was like, ah, convenient. 
uh, and not think too much about why it's there and just uh, toss it at the this, this sheep that's that's being pinned by Manny, essentially. Great. Uh, give me your accuracy roll, but do not remove the minus two. Okay. Uh, but I mean, do not minus two. Yes. Yeah. Let's I see English. how we, we go. Uh, that'll be a total of eight. That's a hit. All right. Let's see how well I do. I'm a quarterback after all. 13. Oh, goodness. Uh, so, Manny, you are on top of this thing, and then thump. You are on the ground, and there are petals everywhere. It is goddamn Oron Host Club in this joint. Um, Dahlia, there's one sheep left, there's a hole in the universe, and there are footballs coming out of nowhere, and you were surrounded by floral. What are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to catch this, like, softball that Manny had hurled at me, and I'm going to have, like, a silent exchange with Aphrodite in my head as I catch one of the roses that Manny tore off and threw back, and I'm going to sing, grow the roses, grow the roses, as I ask Aphrodite to make the rose very, very large, or sorry, Persephone, I was playing games earlier and kept getting them mixed up, uh, and I'd like to make basically a baseball bat with a thorn coming out of it with this. this nice. Um, go ahead and give, I'm going to say that is a power and intelligence roll. All right. Fingers crossed. My dice don't hate me today. I got a 10. Perfect. Okay. Uh, you are going to have this weapon for the remainder of uh, this scene, as long as you are in the dream world. Uh, it will hit with a, it will be strength plus power uh, with no negative, uh, but you will only roll your strength plus two for damage. Okay. Yes. Um, you've created a weapon. Also tough. And I'd like to swing it at the sheep, the last okay. remaining sheep. Sure, go for it. Uh, okay. And you said it's power and strength, right? Yes, it still costs an anima point to use. Okay, that is an eight. That's a hit. And then just strength for damage? Yes, strength plus two. That's a five damage. Okay. And as I, as I hit it, I say, grow the roses of sheep's death. Uh, you bonk this sheep. Uh, you can tell you've broken its little sheep nose. Um, Iris, you're up. Um, okay, so I've, st- am I like away from everybody else or am I kind of where? You're more or less, you are standing in a doorway that has appeared in the middle of the hallway uh, with a traumatic memory behind you and a bonked sheep in front of you. And it's bonked, not dead. but not eliminated. Nope. Is it on the ground? It's No, it's kind of staggering back, rubbing its nose or snout, I guess. Okay. Uh, I am just, I, I feel empowered. Uh, you know, I, I'm like, I just feel pure chaos in my heart and mind. Um, so I'm just going to run forward. Is this too weird? Okay. I was just going to run forward and like grab, like jump on the back of the sheep and just pull at its head <laughs> as hard as I can just to see what happens. It would hurt. Oh, I, I am not going to argue that. Okay. Uh, give me a dexterity roll to okay. see if you see if you can get a good grip on this thing. Four. A four hits. Okay. Give me strength. Give you strength. Okay, she's not too crit. Crit fail. One. Uh, um, you got a reroll. You you do have rerolls. I'll do it. I'll do. I'll do a reroll. Why not? Thanks for the rerolls. Thank you. Three. Okay. Um, like, <laughs> so. It makes a popping noise. Not a gross pop, but like a 
and the body just kind of goes limp and you have a sheep head that's looking at you like you walked in on it in the bathroom. It just looks offended. Uh, I, I, I'm that was rude. Uh, ah! Ow, ow, ow. Uh, the friendly sheeple just kind of shakes his head. Ugh, you gotta be careful there. Um, kind of barely on. Velcro. I don't know what came over me. I feel I feel way different. I'm just telling you guys. That, was, that was amazing. Thank yeah, you. That was that was a lot more violent than I was expecting. Yeah. You I made a same. hole in the universe. That's impressive. Listen, I've been through some stuff. Um and I feel like I feel like we're pretty ready to eliminate the Phantom Queen. Oh, are you? What? And behind you is the Phantom Queen. Mercs of Mischief, thank you for the raid. But we are just out of time and we are going to be wrapping it here. My God. Yeah. Oh, Good no. job, Iris. Good job. I've only My enraged her. <laughs> and you challenged her. Good job. So. My name is Stephen Pope. You can find me online at Stephen J. Pope 22. Uh, that's Stephen with a V, if it matters. Um, also check me on Games We Never Play, the gaming exploratory podcast. Aki, where can they find you? Hi, everybody. I'm Aki. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram, but please don't follow me on Instagram. I don't use it. At Mixed Genie in a Bottle, that's M-X-G-I-N-I-I-N-A-B-O-T-T-L-E. You can find my entire Twitch streaming schedule, including my personal Twitch streams, over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Shidari Aki. That's S-H-I-D-A-R-E-A-K-I. Love it. Uh Mr. Eric, where are you mostly not canceled? Uh, you can always follow me on all the social medias at mostly Eric, uh, which is usually where I post, uh, and uh, which is also my Twitch handle, where I stream video games during the weekdays. And you can also catch me back here on Tuesdays uh, for Tales of Salt Bay, where we are doing our third episode of uh, Good Society, which is a Jane Austen-inspired uh, RPG, and it's the most fun I've ever had. Oh, I Aww. love it. Um, Kelly, where can they find you? You can find me on everything, uh, Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter, at Kelly Nugy, K-E-L-L-Y-N-U-G-E-E. -E -E. Um, check out my podcasts, Teen Creeps, Exile, but they're separate. Teen Creeps is one, then Exile, and then Same Day Shipping is another one. So check those out. Um, yeah, I don't know. Do it. Teen Creeps Exile is when you read <laughs> young adult liter young adult pulp literature that's been banned. Mm. Yes. yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, Mika, where can they find you? You can find me on every social media site as uh, R.I.P. Mika. Like, rest in peace, Mika. Because I die in every game I'm in. Hopefully, Dahlia will not die in this game. <laughs> I hope so. And then uh, as well as doing this every week, I also am in another RPG every week on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Pacific on Strawberry 17 Plays. It's called The Unleashed. Abria is our wonderful GM and we have a wonderful cast. And we're on our last two episodes of the season. So now's a great time to catch up and check it out. And Abria is a queen whom we must stand. We, we always have no choice. Stand. No choice. Uh, if you, if you like anything we did tonight, you can check some out some amazing content here on Saving Throw Show. Every Monday at 8 p.m., we have Dice X Machina, hosted by Riley Silverman. Uh, it's a D&D &D game set in the world of Theros. It's delightful. There are satyr grifters and musical numbers sometimes. It's great. Uh, as Eric stated, we have Tales of Salt Bay, the good society, uh, Tuesday at 8 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. The, it's a delightfully strange romp where no one's allowed to touch each other because, you know, <laughs> you know, Victorian. Yeah, uh, last week we had, a, we had a dinner scene which was 
the the lowest stakes I've ever seen ever, and also the most dramatic thing I've ever done. As we all know, you can't be with her. She showed her ankles once. Um, also, make sure to check out our VOD for episodes of New Pantheon you might have missed, including our last campaign. And also, Wild Cards, our uh, Pinnacle Entertainment Group uh, Savage Worlds game. Weird West, you gotta love it. And we have a winner of Dark Crescents. You have won a free PDF copy of Overarms. Talk, talk to our moderators, you'll get your code. All right, everybody, until next Sunday, we hope you had a great Thanksgiving and we we have nothing but a love for you all. And we will see you next week. Toodles. Bye.